Hello and welcome to another Plague Riddled episode of the Weekly Deathmatch. We're right into it. This is a game called Splitgate Arena Warfare, um, I think. And <laughs> is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. It's Splitgate something. And the idea is arena shooter but with portals. And uh, I thought that sounded really cool. It's free to play so I thought I'd check it out. And it is pretty cool but I do not know how to play it yet. Oh boy. <laughs> this is like my third ever match. And I suck. Uh, prepare for that. I suck quite terribly. Um, in fact, I keep getting buttons mixed up, so I keep accidentally closing my portals instead of firing the second one. Um, this is actually an instigate mode, and I didn't realise that for quite some time. Um, and I've never played this map before, so I don't know where anything is. And everyone here is a lot better at this game than me, and a lot more angry about this game than I am. So, Or angry at noobs in this game than I am, I suppose I should say. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 a thing. I don't know if I'm going to play much more of it or not, but I figured we needed a break from Overwatch. <laughs> so what's going on in my life right now? Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy myself PlayStation VR uh, for my birthday, because it's my birthday coming up and PlayStation VR is going on a pretty decent sale, so I figure, hey, why, why the F not? I was... I learned about the existence of the Oculus Quest, and that was a mistake, because, um, holy shit, I want one, but it's £400, and I don't have £400, so I'm not going to buy the Oculus Quest, but um, VR is something I've kind of been interested in for a while now, and there's a bundle for PSVR which comes with Skyrim, which is definitely something I want to play in VR. Uh, it comes with Doom, which sounds a little bit terrifying in VR. It comes with Wipeout, which I kind of wanted just as a game anyway. Uh, so in VR, that's pretty cool. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I think Beat Saber is available on the PSVR. I think I've looked that up before, and it is. The only thing I really want that it doesn't have is Google Earth uh, VR, which could be pretty cool to kind of fly around Earth and see places. I would love to do that, but unfortunately that's not the case. That being said, if I went for the Oculus Quest, I wouldn't be able to play Skyrim VR, so, you know... Nothing has everything. The only kind of concern I have is the size of my room and whether I'll really be able to enjoy VR in that kind of space because it is quite small. Uh, but I've checked online, it looks like I just barely, just barely will have enough kind of room to be as far away from the camera as it kind of recommends that you be. I'm just worried about flailing my arms around and maybe hitting some stuff, but I don't know, it'll probably be fine. Another thing I'm concerned about is, is this just going to be a passing interest? Like, do I really want to spend, like, 200 quid on something that I might be like, uh, like, I really fucking want to experience it, but I might, like, really like it for about a week and then, you know, not touch it again because it's a hassle to set up or something. You know, I can see that happening. I kind of, well, it didn't happen with the Wii because, I mean, I did play a lot of the Wii, but after a while it did get to that point for Wii of, like, oh, I can't be asked to, like, set it all up and, like, all of that shit, but... I don't know, di different, different kind of thing there, really. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll enjoy it. Um, I think by the time the next weekly death match comes out, hang on, let me check some dates here. That would be okay. I won't have it by then, but maybe like the week after I'll have it, and then I'll be able to talk about it a little bit and let you know if it's any good. Uh, one of the selling points for it actually is that they've kind of announced uh, that it's going to be compatible with a PS5. So I don't have a PS4 Pro, but I'm kind of thinking future-proofing wise. There'll probably be a PSVR too, but uh, the regular PSVR with the PS5, hopefully that would be like having a PSVR with a PS4 Pro, uh, or maybe even a little bit better than that. And I've heard that you don't even really need a Pro, so hopefully that is the case. Um, oh my god, I need to go blow my nose, BRB. So yeah, that did nothing. But yeah, anyway, another thing I just really would quickly want to mention, it's kind of a short one today because I'm ill, but Mario Maker 2, um, they've released some more stuff about that, and I'm incredibly hyped for that game. Like. I've been playing the original Super Mario on the NES um, for Nintendo Switch Online uh, just to try and kind of get myself prepared. Uh, I've almost beat that game. When I beat that game I'll move on to Super Mario Bros 3 uh, just because 2 isn't on. Well I don't know, Lost Levels is basically 1 but more isn't it? So I might play Lost Levels first and then I might play Super Mario Bros 3 which I've never played. Um, I've played like 20 minutes of it with a friend recently. That's like the first time I played it and I was surprised at how good it was. Uh, like, well, not surprised at how good it was, but surprised at how much fun it was on a modern day, in a modern day kind of setting. Um, but, yeah. And another thing is Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. They've released some more footage of that as well, and it looks 
fantastic. Like, holy shit, the amount of detail they've put into the tracks is amazing. But I'm a little bit bummed out because I'm going to be getting it on PC because that's where my friends will be getting it and I want to race together with them. But uh, PlayStation, PlayStation has some exclusive content in the way of a retro racetrack and some retro skins, which look really cool, but PC won't be getting them, so... You know, fair enough, it did used to be a PlayStation exclusive in the first place, but man, I don't know. Maybe I'll buy it on PlayStation as well <laughs> later down the line. Who fucking knows? Um, which reminds me as well, I have PlayStation Plus because of course I do. And the games for next month are Borderlands Handsome Collection uh, and Sonic Mania. And I can see myself maybe streaming some of those games a little bit, although I might want to finish uh, Borderlands. Uh, Game of the Year Enhanced Edition or whatever the fuck it's called. I might want to go back and try and finish that first before I start up the playthrough of Borderlands 2. I don't know if, if I'm going to do that anytime soon so I don't know, just just follow me on Twitter, keep an ear to the ground and look, I've been defeated. Fuck everything. I'm going to go get rid of this cold now. See you later.